Welcome to this Christmas edition of Transformation in 10. I'm so glad uh, that you joined me today. I want to just give you a quick word of hope and encourage your spirit. I believe with all of my heart prophetically that we are about to see the goodness of God break through the darkness we've been in. I speak that into your life. You are going to see the goodness of God breaking through mightily into the darkness that you've been in. I believe we're going to see the goodness of God break through into the darkness that our nation has been in. Yes, God's goodness is about to be revealed. We're going to see it. Now, so as we uh, are here at this Christmas time, uh, here's, here's what I want to drop on you about the goodness of God. The goodness of God, according to Exodus chapter 33 and 34, is the glory of God. So when we expect to see God's glory, we talk about God's glory, there's always a tangible expression, manifestation in the earth of God's goodness. I don't know the darkness you've been in, but I'm here to tell you today, I have an expectation, a brand new expectation in me that you're going to see the goodness of God that's breaking through the darkness you've been in. Moses says to God in Exodus 33, show me your glory. And God said, I'm going to show you my glory, and here's how. I'm going to make all my goodness pass before you. God's glory is his goodness. So now let's fast forward real quick to the, to the gospel accounts in Matthew and Luke of when Jesus was born. Because at this Christmas, I believe God is saying to us, my God. Goodness is breaking through. The light of a new beginning, the light of breakthrough is indeed breaking through. And like the, like the shepherds in Bethlehem and the wise men who followed the star, God's glory is bringing us to a place. We're going to see a, a fresh manifestation of his goodness in our lives, in our nation, in the outcome of the election that's been contended over, in the nations of the earth that have been through such a challenging season. In the church, we're going to see the goodness of God. What you've been battling for is no small victory. It is a triumphant manifestation of the full measured expression of the goodness of God. And so like the angel appearing to those shepherds at night, the star appearing in the heavens to the wise men at night. I want you to think about this. The context of God's goodness broke through in the, in the time of deep darkness. It was prophetically and spiritually dark in Israel for 400 years when Jesus was born because that's how long it had been since God last spoke or released a word. 400 years. Do you know, by the way, that it's the 400th anniversary since the pilgrims set foot in 1620, November of 1620, when they set foot on American soil? I believe the light of God's goodness to the United States of America is going to break through. It's no coincidence. After 400 years, there's a breakthrough in Israel when Jesus is born. So after no word, spiritual darkness... The angel of the Lord shows up and stands right with those shepherds who are minding their own business, and there's a sudden breakthrough of the goodness of God. In the context of your darkness, there's going to be a sudden breakthrough of the goodness of God. And what the angel says to him is, I'm giving you a prophetic word. Here's what you need to know. Something was born. God's goodness was born today in a way the earth's never known it, and it's going to usher in an era of the favor and goodness of God, transformation, reformation, restoration. I'm going to do some things that only I can do, God's saying through the angel. And it's begun now. At night, so in physical darkness, in a time of spiritual darkness, in a time of prophetic darkness, in a time of political and international darkness and upheaval, when Israel had seemed like been forgotten about God's goodness in the form of Jesus broke through. And suddenly, there's that word suddenly, the suddenly breakthrough of the goodness of God. And so suddenly there is a multitude of angels that appear in God's glory and the glory of the Lord shines around them. And there's an explosion of the expression of the adoration and celebration of the goodness of God. I'm here to tell you in the United States of America, we're going to see a celebration of the manifestation 
of the goodness of God concerning this election outcome and the future of our destiny, our destiny and our purpose. In the church that's been through so much, so much upheaval, so much uncertainty, not only for our church in Metro Life uh, right now at this particular season, but the, the remnant bride of Christ. So many people asking questions, so many people walking away, so much transition, so much upheaval. Yet in the middle of what looks to be darkness, God is saying prophetically, I am going to manifest my goodness with my covenant people and it is breaking through. So in the middle of the darkness, my goodness is about to break through and it's going to break through suddenly. The, the shepherds weren't expecting those angels to show up. The, the shepherds were minding their own business. And the goodness of God just exploded. And the next thing the angel does, not only does he give them a word of hope, but he now shows them how to connect to where they can see, access, get their hands on, as it were, the goodness of God. The principle there that I want you to take heart with today and be be strong in faith and be courageous. I want to, in fact, I want to fan the flame of the spirit of faith in you. I release the spirit of faith into your spirit, into your heart, and into your mind that break things off of you, that have you clouded and chained in darkness. Fear, uncertainty, anxiety, worry, depression, be broken in Jesus' name. Let the spirit of faith rise up in you. Because God's not just saying, hey, hold on, I'm going to give you hope. No, 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 no. The goodness of God is connecting you. God's going to connect you to where his goodness is is on display. He's not going to leave you on the outside looking in. So we got the context of darkness and a sudden expression of the full measure manifestation of God's goodness. I believe this is a word from God for us. I know it is in the depth of my being. I know God's got a word and what he's saying to his church, what he's saying to you for the things you've been contending for, for seasons. Your darkness shall not prevail. The darkness shall not. That is a prophetic declaration, and I decree it in the full authority of the name of King Jesus himself, that the darkness shall not prevail in your life. Darkness shall not prevail against the church. Upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it, Jesus said. The darkness will not prevail against the church, the remnant bride of Christ. The darkness will not prevail against the prophetic covenant destiny that God has with the United States of America. The darkness you've been in will not prevail against your destiny or purpose. The darkness you've been in will not cancel the covenant promise God has made you. The prophetic word of God from the mouths of the prophets and the prophetic anointing that in previous seasons has operated in your life where you've gotten a word or a vision or a dream, they are coming to pass and there's going to be a sudden breakthrough of the goodness of God and you're going to see his glory manifest in ways you've never seen it. So, God's got a way of releasing suddenly breakthroughs of the light of new beginnings and the full measured manifestation of his goodness. Even when we're not looking for it, God shows up. You know, the writer said that every good and perfect gift, every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. Did you catch that? The light of God is going to overwhelm the darkness that you've been in that this nation has been in, that President Trump has been in, that the church, the remnant bride of Christ has been in, and the gates of hell will not prevail against the sudden expression of the light of God's new beginnings and the glorious full measured expression of the goodness of God. You see, I want to leave you with this. The psalmist said, I would have fainted. I would have quit. I would have lost my ability to be resilient and to persevere. My relentlessness would have been taken from me. I, I, I would have got emptied and never recovered if I had not believed that I was going to see God's goodness, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You see, God's goodness is about to make a brand new breakthrough 
and the darkness shall not prevail. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen on you. Be encouraged today. Take hope today. Be infused and be filled with the spirit of faith. You have not seen the best of God's goodness, but it's breaking through. In the light of a new beginning, the goodness of God is going to be on display, and he's going to get you to where you experience it in its fullness. So I want to say to you before I go, on a personal basis, I pray that you and your family will have a joyful, peace-filled, restful Christmas. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you have a way of manifesting your goodness, breaking through suddenly. And let the light of your goodness come upon those who are watching this. Whatever their context of their darkness has been, break through it. Let the light of your goodness break through mightily in their life and let them behold, let them see the full measured manifestation, the glorious expression of your goodness in the ways you've promised. God, I'm praying for people right now that have persevered, they've endured, they've refused to quit. They have stood on the word of the Lord when they've had nothing else to stand on and they've refused to back off. I pray a double portion blessing be released upon them right now and let this Christmas in the next several days, let it be a time of rest, relaxation, and a relief, release from anxiety, release from anxiety, release from fear, release from depression, release from every dark, nefarious strategy of the enemy to hold them captive in darkness. In the name of Jesus, I release you to come into the light and to experience the full measure goodness of the God with whom you are in covenant. His goodness is going to break through like never before. In Jesus' name. Thanks for being part of the Metro Life family. I love you. And from my heart to yours, from my family to you, may you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And we're believing God for an incredible breakthrough and turnaround as we move into the new year.